All righty, guys, here we go. We got Tuesday content today, and what are we going to get? What do we have? We're going to have to go check it out. We're going to get new cards, and we're going to get Tuesday objectives to do to get something free. But what is that going to be? I hope you do enjoy the video, guys. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget that sub button down below so you don't miss anything in the future. And let's break down what new cards we got, and if they're really going to knock our socks off and beat what's in our lineup already. Okay, so the first thing we've got is our new weekly game mode content, which is objective-based Nations of Hockey objectives, and it gives you a Nations of Hockey pack, which we will get into what exactly that is. First, what do you have to do to get those Nations of Hockey? You have to complete a game to get a Nations of Hockey choice player, and then you have to get 90 hits with Nations of Hockey US players, and then you have to get blocks, 10 of them, with Canada players, Assists with fin Finland players and goals with Swedish players. You do all those and you get it done and that gets you your pack. What is the pack exactly? Well, if you go to the store, the pack is right there for you. It is 52,000 coins. And if you look at the odds, what it is is a 95% chance of getting an 83 plus. So you're not even a 100% of an 83 plus. And then a 48% chance of a purple and a less than 1% chance of a 92. So you get three cards and you might get all 83 pluses. You might get less than 83 pluses. That's something you take a risk on, but that is the pack. And then with that being our new objective for the week, what do we have for cards? We have a bunch of Nations of Hockey cards, which is good because that'll help you finish it off if you can pull them or purchase them off the auction house, which will be, you know, slightly difficult, but it's not really that big of a deal. If you don't get these objectives done, the reward isn't crazy good. It's a random pack that could be 383s. So don't go and overpay for these cards. If you have them, get it done, get your nice little rewards. But if you don't have them, don't spend a crazy amount on these cards. But you got you know, Matta, Kapanen, Garanlin, Burakovsky, Erickson Eck, Carlson, Warinsky, Kachuk, Caulfield, Zellweger, Bennington, and Bedard. That Bedard's actually really nice. It brings up his team of the season as well. And then a foot, Gianta, and Moro. And that is it. So we've got nine cards to look at. Let's go take a peek at them and see what we think. We'll start with the three captains cards because they're the least. Like not least desirable, but least amount to look at. And we will start with Adam Foot. Adam Foote is 95 speed with 90 endurance, which is nice. 99 wrist shot power, and then 99 defense awareness and 99 body check. Six foot two, which is really nice. He has goal, he has shutdown, which is always nice. Born leader is a good one because of blocking and hitting, but uh, he also comes with enforcer defenseman to get that speed up. I like that. Good move by EA, giving him enforcer defenseman there. And then defensive boost, checking boost, playmaker boost, but the enforcer defenseman is a huge win on this Adam Foote. Because that gets his speed up if you can get that activated. And then Brian Gianta, 99 speed. He's five foot seven, so that's kind of rough. But shorter players aren't really that bad in this game. And he might be one worth trying out. You know, Hillary Knight's dominant. Sarah Nurse is dominant. You might be able to get away and just crush the competition with this 99 speed, 93 endurance. Brian Gianta, who has 94 shooting accuracy, 95 hands. It could be a pretty good one because his strength is 99. He might be pretty hard to knock off the puck. And then he comes with two-way forward, sniper forward, checking boost, shooting boost, playmaking boost. So if you get the shooting boost and the, the sniper forward on him, you actually get him 98 wrist shot accuracy and 97 wrist shot power, which is huge when you're considering his speed and he's got make it snappy. This could be a sneaky good card, if you ask me. Then we got old Ethan. Ethan comes at 94 speed, 89 endurance. 94 shooting, 95 body check and defensive awareness, not terrible. He has grinder forward, power forward, shooting boost, checking boost, and he comes with all the physical stuff and all the in tight stuff, which is unstoppable force truck in close quarters. And then he also has born leader, which all the captain cards have. Not a bad card, it's just not one that would be for me. And then Nations of Hockey grabbing up a bunch of cards. We have, we're going to just start at the top and work our way through. We have a Connor Bedard, 99 speed, 92 endurance. This would actually be an unreal card if you could get your hands on it. Going to be rather expensive though. Playmaking forward, sniper forward, power forward. Speed boost to get him, I guess you don't need speed boost. He's already 99 speed. Defensive boost, acceleration boost, and dangler boost. And then shooting boost. Nice card. And then we got Eric Carlson, 97 speed, quick pick and shutdown are nice. He has two-way two -way defenseman, defensive defenseman, offensive defenseman, no speed boost, but he has checking boost, shooting 
shooting boost, defensive boost, and playmaking boost. 97 speed is really good on this card. Brady Kachuk, six foot four. This card could actually be the best one other than the Adam Foot or the Brian Gianta because he has 95 speed, 96 shooting with 97 hands, 99 body check, and he comes with sniper forward, two way forward, and power forward, and then he comes with defensive boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, shooting boost. But this is a really, really good looking card. Cole Caulfield, 5'8. If you're a fan of the player or the team, why not go and get him? He has make it snappy, puck on a string, shug it off, one T, all the all the shooting stuff you want to see, and the agile elite edges. Coming with playmaking forward, power forward, sniper forward, shooting boost, checking boost, playmaking boost, and danging, dangling boost. My bad. 99 shooting is unreal with 97 speed. This card just buries. We've seen it with his MSP, and we'll see it with this one. He will snipe corners for you if he's a player that you want to put on your team. Jordan Bennington, goalie's a goalie. Six foot two is way too short, in my opinion. But here he is. Here's his uh, synergies. This is not a goalie I'd recommend at all. He's really short. If you like the player, go get him, but uh, I wouldn't invest anything into this goalie. And then we got Mikael Granlin, 97 speed, 91 endurance, 99, 97 shooting with 97 hands, everything you like to see, 95 face-off, so this is a really good face-off card, and he comes with two-way forward to get him up to a 99 face-off from the 95, and good boost, all the ones we expect to see. If you're like if you're a fan, right? All these cards are extremely good if you're a fan. If you're not a fan of the player or Team Finland or you know whatever, if you have a theme team that Granlin has played on, then it might not be for you with lack of size. He has snipe. It's tricky. You don't really see often, but uh, he could be a good card if you're a fan. Joel Arison Eck, always a card that's pretty good. Six foot three, 95 speed, 95 face off. He comes with two A forward, so you can get him up to a 98 face off. And then defensive boost, checking boost, all that stuff. But, uh, tall card, good card with a really good shot. Speed shooting is what you're going to see now. And uh, this, the ability set is kind of rough. Would have liked snipe. Would have liked gold 1T. Would have liked quick draw. Would have liked, would have liked something other than uh, the ones he got. I don't like the ones he got. We got Oliver Kapanen, 95 speed, 99 shooting, 6 foot 1. Not a bad looking build at all. Two-way forward for his face-off. Sniper forward, but he's got 99 shooting, so you don't need it. You'd put two-way forward on him for his face-off ability. And then defensive boost, checking boost, shooting boost. And he comes with one T and make it snappy, which puts this card a little bit over Joel Erickson Eck for me because of his ability set and the card's built relatively the same. We got Zach Wierenski with quick pick. 96 speed on a 92 card is really good. 96 shooting and 92 defensive awareness. This card is, uh, this uh, it's really good again. It's really good again and you could get him on the cheap because he's 92. With quick pick and the speed, you'd, you'd like him. Burakovsky, 95 speed, six foot three, snipe, make it snappy. Again, this would probably be one of the ones that I would chase because of the, the height, the speed, and the make it snappy with the good shot. He'd probably be really good, and he comes with playmaking forward, sniper forward, dangler boost, and shooting boost. Then we also got Amata, who's 90, 94 speed with shutdown. Don't hate that. Defensive defenseman, two-way defenseman, checking boost, defensive boost, six foot two with 94 speed and shutdown is nice, but this is where we kind of drift out, where he's getting a little slower. Um, defensive awareness isn't really there. Like You have the, the shutdown if you want it, but uh, this would probably be a pass for me as lefty is just so strong. And same with Zell Weger. The five foot nine is scary. Ninety six speed. The five foot nine scares me off this card. Quick picks good, but uh, you know there's his boosts and his, his synergies. But this, the size scares me off this defenseman. Those are the cards, guys. I hope you really do enjoy them. If you do, leave the comment section down below which one you're chasing because they're all really good. Which one are you a fan of? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Until next time, guys. Ciao, ciao.